what's up guys sorry this video is coming out on Wednesday I try to get them out on Monday every week um, we have been pretty busy I, I just got done grading I don't know probably 150 assignments that were turned in late which is fine I mean that's still full credit and I encourage you guys to do that um, but that's what I've really been doing Monday Tuesday and Wednesday <laughs> so far so um, I will tell you that as of about 1 p.m. on April 28th which is when I'm recording this video um, all the grades are updated so if you turn in stuff after that I try to grade them every single day every single night before I go to bed I try to grade all of the late work um, but just be patient um, and if I miss something just shoot me excuse me shoot me an email and uh, I will get that to you um, so this week uh, we are getting a little into cellular respiration um, and then we have a project Tuesday through Friday like I said we're trying to give you guys more projects just to have like I feel like we have one assignment a week um, it might it's gonna be a little lengthier just because this entire week but um, I think it makes it easier on you guys to know what you have done and haven't done um, so that's what we're gonna do moving forward um, I will tell you may we're gonna give you guys a lot of time in May to, to complete makeup work so if you are behind don't panic um, just get the stuff in when you can and that's all we can ask um, I'm coming at you right now from the same place as the last couple weeks my little balcony uh, it's raining pretty hard. I am safe and secure, dry in here. My glasses, got the glasses on. They're a little crooked, but uh, can't see an eye doctor right now, so that's understandable. Um, so Monday, uh, I did send you guys a video on cellular respiration. Um, in seventh grade, you guys don't have to get too in depth into it. Um, just know that photosynthesis and cellular rep respiration kind of go hand in hand. Um, they need each other to work, and they happen in cellular respiration does happen in plants. Um, a lot of people think it only happens in animals, but it does happen in plants um, because it does give off energy for the plant to conduct photosynthesis. Um, and I know that's a lot, and I know that video I sent you was was probably pretty tough um, to follow along. Um, but uh, that is the the main gist of it is it, it it makes energy, you know, and it goes hand in hand with photosynthesis, um, and it's happening at that cellular level. Um, and so is photosynthesis. So uh, if you guys have any questions on that, let me know. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible for you because if you look up videos and stuff, they're just um, a, very challenging to follow and that's part of the reason why I kind of want to make some videos that are middle school friendly. Um, so the, the rest of this video is gonna be me just going over uh, the assignment from Tuesday through thir or Friday. Uh, it's the big project. It's a picture book, and you guys can either do that on paper pencil or you can do that online. Um, so that is all I got for you, and um, stay tuned. If you guys do have questions, just again, please email me. Um, I'm available. I'm pretty good about responding to people, and I'll um, respond to you with uh, you know a paragraph that I feel like will help you out a lot. So, um, and then you guys can always email me just to check in. So, thanks, guys. Hope everything's good. Hope you all are staying safe and hope your families are staying safe. Love you. All right, so my regular laptop is broken right now. I had to send it in actually. Um, so I am just recording my screen instead of having a screen recorder. Um, so it's a little lower quality today. Um, but your big project this week is to create a photosynthesis picture book. Um, I will tell you, side note, uh, you guys did a great job on your photosynthesis diagrams um, last week. I mean, I was really, really impressed. You guys created them your own. I didn't see any like plagiarism where you guys just copied a picture and pasted it. Um, you guys did an awesome job. So, great job on that. Shout out. I had like probably 90% of you turn it into. Um, so, before I start this, just know, guys, that you guys have four days to do this, okay? Please do not stress yourself out. Please do not overwhelm yourself. You guys have until really Sunday. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm putting the due date at Sunday because that's when I actually go and grade it. Now, if it says the due date's on Friday, because sometimes I do make it on Friday, um, if you get it to me by Sunday, I mean, I'll, I'll probably not have it graded until it's Sunday. So, um, and if you guys turn it in late, say you turn it in two weeks from now, honestly, I will still grade it, okay? And you can still get full credit. I just really don't want you guys to get overwhelmed. Um, especially at the end of the year, say you have 15 missing assignments, I mean, and you have two weeks to turn it in, that's when you start getting overwhelmed, you know, so um, just take it in a little at a time. Just maybe do a page a day. That's what I would recommend. Um, so, pages needed, you guys need a title page, okay? 
that's going to obviously have your name on it and then um, a simple picture of photosynthesis and or cellular respiration just something to, to introduce the cover just like a children's picture book um, page one is a definition of photosynthesis in your own words um, keep these simple guys that a, that a younger kid would understand a lot of you guys have younger siblings and maybe you could read these to them um, and then a simple diagram of photosynthesis if you guys are doing it online and you want to use your assignment from last week do it that's completely fine a lot of those were simple diagrams that you guys did a great job with um, a definition of cellular respiration in your own words um, and a simple diagram so if you guys can't find a diagram here is a pretty good one right here it, it, it's the simplest one that I could find um, like I was saying in earlier in the video that photosynthesis and cellular respiration work hand in hand okay now I wish um, right here they also highlighted that and said energy okay because it does give energy to the plants um, it, it's called ATP you guys don't have to know that yet you'll learn that in high school um, but that is a diagram right there and I will tell you if you're looking for abiotic factors in cellular respiration right here okay carbon dioxide abiotic water abiotic um, oxygen abiotic okay ATP is abiotic all right so use that um, let me get where is it at there it is okay um, page three abiotic factors non-living things that are used in photosynthesis and cellular respiration okay with a picture of each okay um, Page four, an explanation of how photosynthesis benefits humans and other animals. Guys, like I was saying in my last video, photosynthesis is incredibly important, incredibly important um, to our world and to our life, okay? That's, that's part of the reason why we're learning about it. It's a really important aspect of science, okay? Um, so your design constraints, uh, you need a picture, you need writing, um, contents obviously has to be correct, and project is clearly not rushed, okay? Um, I had some, I can't remember who, I had somebody turn in, in an assignment on Flip Snack. Basically, this was like a, a magazine um, template kind of thing that she could I, he or she could edit. I can't remember who made it, but it was awesome. If you guys want to try that, you can. Obviously, you don't have to. A lot of you guys have been using Canva. That's great. PictoChart, some of you guys use that. The one thing I'll say about PictoChart, if you guys do it on there, um, a lot of the links that you send me don't work. So if you could download the image and, s and turn it in like that, that works way better. Um, Google Slides, uh, Paper Pencil, and any other online source, guys. If you want to find another resource, if you're more comfortable with something, that's completely fine. Um, here's the rubric. I'm going to let you guys read through that. I'm not going to read through every single part of it. Okay. And then if you guys want to challenge yourselves a little bit on your fifth page, you could have a little explanation um, and a picture about how cellular respiration and photosynthesis are similar, okay? Um, that's my challenge to you. We'll see if anybody does it. Um, hopefully these videos are finding you guys. Now, if you guys do do that, that you can obviously earn an A without doing that. That is completely extra. I am not going to be grading that. Um, okay, so if you guys have any questions, remember, email me. I'm here for you. I want you guys to succeed. I'm not trying to overwhelm you. I'm really not. Um, cause I know you guys have other classes that you have work to do in too. So I'll keep that in mind. Okay. So here comes the weekly meme.